Hey everyone, it's Jacqueline and Adam for Pixie Dust PhD. In this last video, we talked about the things that we never do in Walt Disney World. So for this one, we're going to turn the mood up a little bit and talk about the things that we always do at Walt Disney World. So stay tuned to hear our list and let us know what you think and what you always do. So we've each prepared five things that we always do when we go to Walt Disney World. And these aren't in really any particular order, but we'll save the last one for the one we feel most strongly about. So first for me, number five is regardless of if I'm staying on or off property, I always bring a magic band. And that is essentially because I always buy memory makers. So we're constantly hunting down photo pass opportunities and getting those through the tap of our magic band to remember all of the memories. And for me, one of my favorite things to do at Walt Disney World is whenever I'm on a ride like Jungle Cruise or where you're really interacting with the cast members is just laugh at their jokes and, and really just eat no matter how corny they are, you know, really just play it up because the more fun they have, the more fun you'll have as well. Number four for me is that I always rope drop Magic Kingdom at least once on the trip. Um, I don't necessarily rope drop every park, but there's something about Magic Kingdom bright and early in the morning where the crowds are really low that just it is so magical. And that's something that I really cherish. So even though I hate waking up super early, I think it's definitely worth it. So I always rope drop Magic Kingdom at least once. So while waking up early once is tough, something that's really easy to do that I always do is go to Disney Springs. So no, no matter if it's in the morning, uh, midday, afternoon, at least once during my trip, if I'm there for more than just one day to like only go to the Magic Kingdom, um, definitely stopping by Disney Springs. Uh, just to people watch, shop, eat, a lot of great stuff there. So much good food. Oh yeah, that's for sure. Yeah. Number three for me is that I always make it a point to meet characters, but in particular, I always meet Mickey and I always meet Merida. So Mickey is important to me because for some reason, I feel like all of Walt Disney World is Mickey's. Like I go and I give my thanks to Mickey for this wonderful experience. And if it's possible, I really like to talk to Mickey in the Magic Kingdom because I really feel like the Magic Kingdom is his and it's so fun. The last trip we did, actually we landed we went to the hotel and then we went straight to Magic Kingdom and met Mickey and I said, the first thing I did on vacation is I came and I wanted to say hi to you. And then Merida, I just love. I think she's absolutely the best and her interactions are always so great and so fun. And speaking of Mickey, I love looking for hidden Mickeys or just the small details in the park. So whether you're, you know, in a line for an attraction or you're just walking around on property hotel, there's hidden Mickeys everywhere, and it's just such a fun game to see all the little caring details that the Imagineers have put into the park. Number two for me is that I always end up at a lounge or two, or, you know, several every day, honestly. So I love Nomad Lounge in the Animal Kingdom. I think that's the perfect spot to relax. They have some really good food, excellent drinks, and it's just such a nice escape from the chaos of the park. And I also really love Tambu Lounge at the Polynesian. That's where you can get that Lapu Lapu drink in the pineapple. And you can get some food from Ohana. It's really tasty. So yeah, I love to take sort of a break from the chaos of the parks and hang out in lounges. It's more casual and faster than actual table service dining, but the quality is definitely there. Yeah, I love it how they just like, oh yeah, we'll just give you this from the menu. Yeah. Even if it's not there at the bar. Yeah, so definitely you can also ask when you go to a lounge what the full menu is. Sometimes even if it's not presented to you, you'll be able to get food from whatever restaurant it's attached to anyway. If you're hungry, just ask, right? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so for, for me, I always love the thrill rides. So, you know, I'm making sure I'm doing Space Mountain, Thunder Mountain, the coasters, uh, making that a priority. So, you know, if I'm in a park... Um, you know, just love going on the higher thrill rides by Disney standards. Yeah, we normally do Expedition Everest several times in a day. <laughs> Single rider line, you know, it's it's great. Okay, and my number one thing that I always have to do when we go to Walt Disney World is see Happily Ever After in the Magic Kingdom with a view of the castle projections. So there are a lot of great places you can view the fireworks from around Magic Kingdom and also in the resorts near that area. But I really think the projections on the castle are so beautiful and they really amp up the feelings for me. And so if you haven't experienced Happily Ever After in person in front of the castle, I highly suggest you do it. I've watched a lot of YouTube videos of the recording and it's great and it's beautiful, but it doesn't give me the same feelings, the same emotions as when I am physically there watching it happen live. So that's something I always prioritize. Yeah, make sure you get a good view of that because that is uh, definitely my number one thing that I always do. I at least see a nighttime show um, in a park that I'm at. 
um, at least one time on my trip, I, I would like to see a nighttime show. And when you see it in person, it really makes it special, no matter you know what park you're at. Um, just make sure that you know you're telling the people around you to get the camera out of your face if other people are busy recording. Uh, so, um, but it's definitely worth it, and it's also my favorite thing to do in Disney parks. So those are our top five favorite things to do while we're in Disney World. These are things that we always do, no matter how many times we go back. These are things I think we will continue to always do. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Ring the bell icon for notifications whenever I post new videos. Thanks so much to all the returning viewers and subscribers. Your support really means a lot to me. What are things that you always do when you head to Walt Disney World? Time after time, timeless things that you never ever skip. Let us know in the comments down below. I hope the rest of your day is absolutely magical. See you real soon. At <laughs> Pixie Dust PhD. <laughs>